That opening gives me chills every time. Hey everybody, it's the Musical Gamer. Welcome to a new Let's Play, Persona Q, Shadow of the Labyrinth. Oh, I've been waiting to do this one. Please, Senpai Atlas, do not flag me for copyright. Last time I did a Persona game, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> of course, that was my fault back then. I don't think there's any problems with doing Persona Q. But, oh, I have been eagerly looking forward to... Whoa, game, what are you doing? Eagerly looking forward to actually doing this game on my channel eventually. I have the equipment for it. As you can see, everything is nice, beautiful quality. Everything is wonderful. I've actually had the equipment for it since like February, March, but I just didn't really have the time to do it then. Now I do, and I hope you all enjoy. So, we will get started with a new game. This is a bit of a different type of Persona game for those who don't know. Persona Q is kind of like every Persona player's fanboy dream. Welcome to the world of Persona Q. It is up to you to choose the protagonist of this story. Your choice of protagonist will affect how the story develops. Very well. We can either choose the Persona 4 protagonist, the second year student at Yasugami High School and leader of the investigation team, working to solve the murders in the rural town of Yasuinaba. Or, someone we should recognize, the Persona 3 protagonist, the second year student at Gekokan High School and the leader of Seas. He's investigating Tartarus to save mankind from the Apathy Syndrome. Well, we can choose between either of these two. That is kind of the big sell point of this game, is that it combined both games Persona 3 and Persona 4. Uh, more specifically, Persona 3 FES and Persona 4 Golden. So you're going to see characters from each of those specific games. Uh, we are going to do the Persona 3 protagonist, just because I wouldn't feel right doing Persona 4 because I haven't yet done that game on my channel. Uh, I don't know when I'll be able to. Hopefully when I get a PS Vita capture card, because I've got a 3DS one. It's actually a 2DS, but... Um, <laughs> it works pretty well. It kind of gets um, cut out a few times, so hopefully that doesn't happen during the recording. But uh, as soon as I can actually get my hands on a PS Vita emulator, which is going to cost ridiculous amounts of money, or not emulator, uh, capture card, it's gonna cost insane amounts of cash to do that. But once I can do it, then I will most likely do Persona 4 Golden then. That's why my Patreon account is very important. <laughs> That's the only way I'll possibly be able to do it. Okay, now I gotta actually look at the capture card right now. Or the, the, I gotta look at my goddamn 3DS. Um, and use a keyboard. So, is this first name last name or is this last name first name? Hang on. Minato. Ah, uh, damn it. Ari. Sa oh, damn it, doesn't fit. Really, game? Really? Ah, that is really frustrating right now. <sighs> okay, how do we do this? I could just leave it like that. We all know who he is. You know, I'm just doing that. Yes, his name is acceptable. It's as acceptable as it's going to be. Games difficulty. Hmm. 
I don't know. <laughs> Those should easily enjoy the story. I wouldn't mind that because it actually, I'll admit, I have not played through this game to completion. Yes, I know, sacrilege, right? But I'm going to be doing so in this Let's Play. So I would prefer a difficulty level not too ridiculous. Uh, there's a distinct tension that comes from exploring the labyrinths. I don't want to strike fight strategically. Hmm. Uh, oh yeah, no, 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 no. I, I would not want to do anything harder than normal. You know, I'm going to actually start on easy. Because I, I sort of know what I'm getting myself into. But, and this game can be pretty difficult. The game is uh, very much reminiscent of the Etrian Odyssey games, for those of you who might know those. It's that same dungeon crawling sort of experience, but, well, with Persona. Fate leads the willing, and drags along the reluctant. Lucius Aeneas Seneca. Oh, I've missed that music. Wait, oh, that, oh, that sent shivers Welcome down my spine. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Oh, it has been way too long since I played a Persona game. In real life and on this channel. This place exists between dream and reality. Mind and matter. How unexpected for you to visit while my master is away. Well, you know me, I'm a party hmm. crasher. Is it my imagination, or... Have we had an exchange like this once before? I'm, I'm sure it's just your imagination, Elizabeth. Ah, uh, that's right. It was on the night of a typhoon not long ago. There was a strange incident where you met a certain someone. At least that's what I seem to recall. But could that have been a dream I had? Or... Hmm. <laughs> Elizabeth's words bring back memories of a certain person's words. We'll meet again. Someday. I recognize them. Oh, God. Shit balls. Hold on. I think I can fix this. Uh, and boop. There we go. That was weird. Th th this is what I mean. Uh, th there's something up with this thing. It disconnects so easily. Voice. I wonder how that's actually going to come back in in editing. Hmm. I wish to ask you something. What transpired on the night of that typhoon? Do you happen to remember the name of the person you met? Ah, uh, well. Ah, you. Enter his name. Oh, well, don't worry. This is not connected to the internet. Now, I know for a fact I'm not going to fit his full... Um, canon name, which is really stupid why they did it this way. Why they only gave you six characters for each part of the name. Like, what's random? Hayato Mikage. Karu Koga. Mikoto Chiba. Hayato Hashi. Nagase Shina. Shiro Ito. Akira Chita. Rikoto Kuroki. <laughs> I actually really like that one. Yamato Otsuki. Taro Koga. I, it's so stupid. Because for anybody who's a Persona fan, they know this man is named Yu Narukami. As was, well, deemed by the anime and all sorts of manner of games that came afterwards. So, it just does not feel right playing without his correct name. Hmm. Well, I could use his sort of original unofficial official name, if people know that one. Oops. There we go. Soji said it, or is it said as Soji? No, I think it's I think it's this one. Yes, this name is acceptable. Ah, as I thought. What could this mean? I had heard that you were bedridden during the typhoon. Yet this occurred on that same night at a time when you were with your friends in Tartarus. Um, <laughs> I guess I don't have a choice here. Uh, could you tell me more, my dear? Very well. <laughs> yes, quite, Allow yes. me to speak a bit on the subject of that incident. <laughs> well, all right, then. 
It happened on the night of a typhoon, merely a few days ago. The absence of this room's master had made the existence of our velvet room somewhat uncertain. <laughs> long, long story. I have a feeling we're going to be here for a while. September 20th, 2009. The entrance to Tartarus. You can do some date checking too back in the actual Let's Play I did of P3. The dates actually match because I believe the typhoon hit on September 21st. It's too bad it got canceled in the end. It would have really been something to look back on. Junpei Iori, Minato's classmate, and a very cheerful companion. Come on, it's not that bad. There's always next year. Yukari Takeba, Minato's classmate. She's a strong-willed member of the archery team. And we have not banged her yet. But the typhoon left no other choice. It would have been awful if someone got hurt. Fuka Yamagishi, a second year like Minato. Her specialties lie in providing backup from afar. From afar. Also, has not yet been banged by Minato. Since we can't assure the student's safety, we had to cancel. I feel bad as student council president. Mitsuru Kirijo, a third year student at Minato's school, and the student council president. As the trend is continuing, has not yet been banged under fear of execution. No one's blaming you, Mitsuru. Just shows that even we can't fight Mother Nature. Akihiko Sanada, a third-year student and captain of the boxing team. He's popular with the girls, but... Huh? Where's that guy? I don't see him around. <laughs> Shinji, you're alive! Shinjiro Aragaki, a third year at the school, but he has currently taken leave. Akihiko's childhood friend. If you mean our leader, then he is over there. He mentioned going to acquire a new persona. I guess a humanoid robot given the power to use a persona. She has just transferred to Minato's class. Has not yet been banged in hot steamy robot sex. At that persona summoning place, only he can see, right? Ken Amata, a fifth grader with the power to summon a persona. He lost his mother in an accident. Boohoo. Man, that lucky skunk. Getting to change his persona is cheating. You know, it's funny because this is the only game I know of where they actually, like, directly reference the main protagonists changing their I personas. I what his new persona will be like this time. And the existence of something like the Velvet Room. Ah, there's Koromaru. A Shiba Inu who also has the power to summon a persona. Koromaru says, I wanted to have big bazongas. Oh, damn it, Junpei. You have not changed in the years I've last seen you. Why kids say that? Are you stupid or something? Yikes, she sounds even more pissed than usual. It seems Karumaru-san is worried about our leader. He was confined to his bed for two days, after all. Ah, I see. But he's probably fine. It seemed like his fever was going down. Not like we can go anywhere in this typhoon anyway. So he couldn't just stay in bed till it passed. He said something was bothering him, so we came to Tartarus. But there's nothing really here either. As we hear the what? bells of death toll. Is that a bell? Very good, Mitsuru. Yes, it's a freaking it bell. What was that? Whatever it was, stay alert just in case. I'll have a look around with my persona. Ah! What's wrong, Fuka? There was a spider by my feet. Oh, God damn it. Huh? Where'd it go? A spider? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess it was just my imagination. I'll use my persona to check. Uh, whoa, what? what? What just happened? Who turned out the lights? I can't hear you, it's too dark! Ah, Igor, master of the room. I love Igor. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. I think we've heard the speech before, Elizabeth. How unexpected for you to visit while my master is away. Uh, yeah, where's Igor? He's normally sitting there with his schnoz. Unfortunately, he is absent at the moment. If it's fusion you require, then I have some knowledge of the process. Feel free to ask me to perform them. By the by, only a legion can be summoned today. That will be all right with you, won't it? 
Um... A legion means an army. I... Uh, no. Each face has a different expression. They all bear such rich anguish that I never tire of watching them. I am legion, for we are many. I highly recommend one to you. Well then, let's proceed with the fusion ritual without delay. Hey, whoa, 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 hold your horses there. Elizabeth, you mustn't lie. You are capable of fusing other personas as well. Well, hello there, man in blue. A young man steps out of one of the many doors in the room. Ah, oh, Theo, how do you do? This is my incompetent younger brother, Theodore. I realize that's long, so simply call him Theo. But my name is shorter than yours. <laughs> my name is Theodore. Thank you for bearing with my sister Elizabeth all this time. Eh, no problem. I am sure her naivete must cause you difficulty at times, but I hope that you can work well with her. Since our master has stepped away for the moment, I'm remaining here alongside her as a precaution. Um, what's wrong? When the Velvet Room is without its master, the room's existence itself becomes a bit unstable. Moreover, there is a storm raging in the outside world right now. Yeah, the typhoon, right? I know there's a typhoon going on. Storms shake things up. Not only the body, but the heart, too. One's resolve, one's internal strife, one's hidden thoughts. Everyone closes their eyes during the storm, for that is when the world within begins to encroach. One will have no choice but to face what has gone hidden while their eyes were averted. There are storms that can shake up fate, and even time itself. Um, in any case, if you could please allow me to... An alarm? What the hell? Oh god, where's what? XCOM? What on earth? The aliens are invading again! Hmm? My! Huh? Whoa! Hey, what's going on here? It's so blue. Is this an elevator? What? What is this place? What is everybody doing here? What could this mean? This is new! Uninvited guests in a private chamber. That can only mean that the culprit is among us. Uh, culprit Nearly my small joke. Okay, capture card, stop skipping around. That aside, this is a facet of fate as well. And perhaps a beginning. I am Elizabeth, and this is my younger brother, Theodore. We are residents of this Velvet Room. Velvet Room? Oh, you mean where our leader goes for personas? Yes, we provide aid to our guests by fusing personas here. So, so it was true. What you so guys why did you call me? us here? As to that, even we don't know. Bluntly speaking, that was our question. Those who enter here have formed a contract of some kind, or... Or what? Or what? Um... It, it, it stopped. That it did. Hey. It reminds me of a roller coaster. The way it keeps climbing until it stops all of a sudden. Shut up! If that were true, it would drop! Ah! Oh, you we had are to say it! descending in an uncontrolled freefall. Well, shit! We're indeed falling. Are we going to crash? Into what? Uh, I don't I think don't I want to know. The bottom? Oh, that sounded like it hurt. hell just happened? I've never seen this school before. Culture festival. The charged ceremony of excitement which students hold once every year. Charming the amateur delicacies. Attractions bursting with that handmade horn. And for a finale, 
I've heard that students dance like madmen around an infernal flame. Oh, damn it, Elizabeth. I'm not even going to bother to fix you on that one. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like and comment below if you want to see some more. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check me out on Twitter for news and updates, as well as check out my Patreon page for any donations help keep the channel up and help me do games like this one. So, thank you all for watching. I will catch you guys in the next episode. This is Musical Gamer signing off. Bye-bye! <laughs>